Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, is picture the strongman of old, the legends like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass. They would perform real life feats of strength as part of a live show. I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength that I've performed in front of a live audience include things like bending steel bars, breaking chains, twisting horseshoes, rolling up frying pans, driving nails through a wooden board by hand, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off at full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days to answer questions in an effort to generate content for my YouTube channel by giving you guys what you want, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss where I'd invite you to ask me a question by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I try to get back to you with your very own custom video. Pretty cool, right? So this question comes from C8 or Bend 8220. And they said, how do you keep from straining too hard when you do overcoming isometrics? Thank you for asking that. So some of the mistakes that I've made in the past was holding my breath when doing isometrics. Um, I actually have in fact passed out while attempting to break a chain and I ended up falling on the ground and I woke up a couple, I'm not sure how long I was out for, but some of my clients walked in and I'm laying on the ground and they're like, what happened? I'm like, I passed out doing isometrics. So note to self, don't do that. <clears throat> so in order to prevent that sort of thing from happening, what you want to do is make sure not to hold your breath during isometrics. Holding your breath while doing weights is actually a good thing to do because that's what supports your spine when you're under load. However, with isometrics, you're not really under load because you're just pushing and pulling against immovable objects. So you don't really need that spinal stability while doing the isometrics. So while I'm doing that, like, just using curls as an example, <clears throat> I'll set a timer, right? And this is something that's, that I figure out ahead of time by rolling two, two dice, right? This is what I'm currently doing in my program. And however many dots are up, that's how many seconds I'm going to hold the contraction for. So what I'll do is I'll grab it and I'll wait for the timer. And then I'll breathe out gently while pulling or pu trying to curl as hard as I can, breathing out steadily and gently, right? Not that pressurized breathing like you do with an overhead press of the kettlebell. With each breath, I try to get that contraction stronger. Um, during a, like, a, like a 12 second hold, each one of those breaths strengthens that contraction. Just like what I was talking about in a previous video where I was talking about, um, oh man, I'm having a moment right now. Steve Justa, right? It was something that he mentioned in his isometrics book. So some of the other things to keep in mind is when I go out on stage, I actually have a policy to myself where if the room goes dark and I haven't gotten the feet, it's not happening today. That's what I do with the wrenches because some wrenches will go, some you can't even move with a sledgehammer and I, ha I still have the rest of the show to run. I apply that also with the isometrics. When the room starts to go dark, that means that you are on the verge of blacking out. Blacking out is when you are straining too hard and your body shuts down the process saying, that's enough. Even though you're teaching your body to go there and you're gonna be kind of dancing along the edge, you don't wanna go all the way through. At least that's what I do. I mean, like when I'm talking about this stuff, it's, I don't have any idea of what your medical history and stuff. This is what I'm doing. 
So I'm being mindful to breathe and kind of do like a relaxed breathing so as not to overstrain myself. And if the room starts to go dark, that's when I would call it a day. But I hope that answers your question. If anybody else has questions, um, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your very own video. And of course, if you need follow-up, drop it in the drop a comment in the comments below and I'll try to create a follow-up video. But in the meantime, please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.